Hi, welcome back. I'm Fred. Let's talk about science. Today, the topic is living and non-living things. What? What are living things? Living things are alive. Living things can be put in different groups. People, animals, plants, fungus, protista, and monera. Protista and monera are tiny living things, very, very, very small. You can't see them with your bare eyes. You need a microscope to do so. Let's focus on people, animals, and plants. Living things need things to survive. Food, water, and air. No water plus no air plus no food equal... <sighs> what are non-living things? Well, non-living things are not alive. They don't need water or hair of food. What are some non-living things? Rocks, air, water, and objects are non-living things. Let's talk about characteristics of living things. Go! Number one, living things grow and change. Look at you guys, you were once a baby, you're a child now, you will become a teenager and then an adult. You grow and change. Animals too grow and change, look at that. Plants too. Plants grow from a seed in the soil and become a plant. Living things grow and change. Number two, living things reproduce. They make new living things. For example, people make people, animals make animals, plants make plants. But they make new things of the same kind. For example, a monkey cannot make a giraffe, all right? Or a banana plant cannot make a coconut tree. Doesn't make any sense, right? What? Some living things give birth, which means the young grow inside the mother, such as that animal or that one. People also give birth. Other animals lay eggs. The young grow into a shell inside the mother. Plants don't give birth, plants don't lay eggs. Plants make seeds. Number three, living things breathe air. Living things, most of all on land, breathe air with two lungs. Some living things also that live in the water use gills to breathe. Some living things that live in the water also breathe air with lungs. They are called mammals, such as whales, dolphins, manatee, seals. Number four, living things move. <laughs> Some living things can walk and run. Others can fly. Some others can swim. Well, I'm not a good swimmer anyway. And some others crawl. Like a snake. Number five. 
I'm sorry guys, but every living thing dies. You grow, you change, and then you die. Animals, plants, and people. That's what we call the life cycle. The circle of life. Finally, number six. Excretion. Well, guys, you know, when you eat food and drink water, your body creates waste. Waste. Such as... Or... Now, guys, let's check if you understood everything we talked about. Checkpoint number one. All right, guys, what are the characteristics of living things? Try to remember. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And finally, number six. Checkpoint number two. Answer the question. All right. Which thing is a living thing? Now, which one is a non-living thing? Let's do it again. Which one is a living thing? And which one is a non-living thing? Well, guys, thank you very much. Oh, it was great to see you again. Hope to see you soon for the next topic with T. Fred. Bye-bye.